Okay, hello and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Schalke. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow on Twitch, of course. Link is always in the description. Now, we've got a massive episode and a lot of deadline day shenanigans to come. So let's jump into our first match first with Union Berlin. It's Ronald Mendel, the Sasic, Kabak Furlong, Serdar Maiga, Rakitic, Harit Kastrati and Mitrovic for this one. Gentner for Union. Slips in Trimmel. Tries to come across Mendel, but he does enough. Gentner now gets the ball back. The volley is on here suddenly. And Renal saves with his legs. Serdar with this corner for Schalke. Toward the spot for Mitrovic. It's knocked down here as Kostrati is going to hit one really awkwardly. It's span and it's swerved. Keeper has to palm it away. A wrap. Under a bit of pressure from Mitro. Mitro might have just done enough. Here's my eager. Defenders back off, Serdar, wide to Castrati. good bit of skill, Castrati straight down the throat of the keeper. Kabak does well, wins the ball, there could be a charge on here, Mitrovic returns the ball to Castrati. charging into the area now with his pace, puts the ball across, there's Maiga, brilliant save, and behind. Andrik. Ball to Gentner. Knocked down for Giebelman. Hits it. Good block from Kabak. Cruz. Gentner. Into Giebelman. Across. And there's the touch. It was a golden opportunity that they've put wide. Gentner. Inside ball all the way across now. Kabak sort of lets it. No, he, he sort of let it run across his body. But the referee has said hand ball. This looks incredibly harsh, to put it lightly. But I don't even think it touches his hand. Come on, man. Come on. We're now up against Cruz. And he's got another one against us. I swear he scored in every single time we've played Union. We are 1-0 down thanks to the penalty. This stupid penalty decision of the referee. The throw in now. Here is Cruz again. Maybe I just need to sign him. Meza. Meza can find a ball through. The shot is on and Renal can just pull off the save. The ball forward now for Uni on time running out for us. The ball's been slipped through here. First time finish into the far corner. Union Berlin make it two. And game set and match to Berlin. It is another particularly poor piece of defending. And it's that ball slipped inside again with the first time strike. Cruz. Rub salt in the wound. Make it three here, possibly. Good tackle. And there is your full-time whistle. Just not good enough, is it? A very, very poor performance. Losing 2-0. When we've got such a strong side. <sighs> Nothing to shout about in the ratings, either. Moving on swiftly. Things go from bad to worse, as Lille have paid the £4.2 to break Hamza Mendel's contract. And as I said, all contracts will be adhered to from what they were signed originally. We might be looking to get a new left back. Julian Hartmann has signed for Burnley for 6.8 million with 4.7 back in the budget. I just I couldn't deal with his red card, no torso crap anymore, so I had to let him go. Mendel has completed his transfer, 2.9 million back into the budget, and we will have to find a new left back to bring in. Not ideal on deadline day. I've identified Michelin uh, left back Paulinho. The Brazilian is very, very quick, and I've seen him play a couple of times against uh, Liverpool in the Champions League, and I thought he looked pretty good, to be fair, this season. So, I'm going to be bringing him in for a fairly decent price and wage. He wear the number three shirt, vacated by Mendel. I have sold Jan Luka Schurler to SCR Attack, 630k, 400 back in the budget. Just had no use for him, really, so he's out the door now. It's now as if things can get worse. Real Madrid have paid £38 million. For Suet Serdar. Again, this is all happening on deadline day. It's going to be a real rough one. We're going to have to find a big money man if he gets sold. 
And this is not looking good, is it? It's looking really disastrous on this final day of the transfer window. Could be big changes throughout the squad. And there's the confirmation. 31 million back as Suet Serdar has signed for Real Madrid. Oh dear. This is going to be a rough little while, isn't it? We've got to find a big replacement for Suet Serdar and very, very quickly. I'm meeting with Ralph Hasenhutl of Southampton to try to sign James Ward-Prowse. Now, they tried to get Harrit, which obviously we've said no, but we are going to be able to get him for roughly £38.5 million. He will be jumping straight into these contract signings. He's not going to be cheap for us in any aspect, is James Ward-Prowse, but I think he's exactly the kind of player we need. Get a bit more possession, a bit more quality on dead balls as well. And he is in the door and will wear Suet Serdar's vacated number eight. Renal, Kalasnach, Nastasic, Kavak, Furlong, Ward, Prowse, Moiga, Rakitic, Harit, Supriyaha and Shakiri to play Leipzig. A very, very big game. Here's Salvio. Dancing through the players. Here is Paulson. Good block in there. Now Rakitic can't come away with it. Moreno, Calvert, Lewin returns to Moreno. And it's off the outside of the post. And Kunku. Moreno again. The ball's through here for Paulson. And Renal gets a good hand to it. Moreno. Calvert Lewin. Over to Rafa. Calvert Lewin inside for Yusuf Paulson. Back heel. Here's in Kunku. And Renal makes another really good stop. Kaletaka. The ball forward will be intercepted by the head of Furlong Shakiri into Supriyaha. Knocked down for Rakitic. The place to ball in. Here's Harit. Harit's going to force one from the keeper. Supriyaha can't get it under control. Haidara. Calvert Lewin. The Stasic can't do enough. Haidara now over to Paulson. Another big save from Renal. Rafa with the throw, and he's looking knackered, by the way. Akanji. Gerard Moreno. Rafa. Back to Moreno. Intercepted, though, by James Ward Prowse. And suddenly, something could be on here. Harrit to James Ward-Prowse. Ward-Prowse with a ball forward for Harrit. He's got the touch. He's brought the ball down. He's chipped the keeper and it's 1-0. I mean, Harrit with a brilliant goal. We've been under the cosh for the entire game. But I mean, Harrit bursting away. A beautiful little lofted pass to him. Touchdown. Keeper comes. Left in no man's land for the lob. 1-0. A shock to the system for Leipzig. Who now have to recoup to get just a point as it stands. Nastasic and Kalasnac trying to hold off Poulsen. He's going to keep going through. James Ward-Prowse though will win the ball back. And here is Jordan Shakiri. He sees Kastrati wide. Kastrati goes first time for Supriya Ha. Excellent touch. Excellent finish. It's two. Unbelievable from the goalkeeper. He had to come for that. He had to rush out. He chose to stay at home. And the young Ukrainian brings the ball down brilliantly. And an expert finish too. What a ball that is from Kastrati. The touch and finish are absolutely exquisite too. And Kunku. Paulson. Leipzig fighting to try and get back in this game now. Ball over for Salvio. Kalasinac wrestling with him. He's going to get past him. Salvio still dancing around with the ball. And Kunku now in. Kunku strikes. Renal makes another good save. And Furlong can keep it in. And find the pass to Castrati. Who can now run down the right hand side. Practically unopposed. He comes on the inside. Castrati finds Supriyaha. First time finish. It's three. Absolutely lethal counter attacks. Who says we need Mendel, Oot or Serdar? What a combination. What a performance this has been on the counter. 3-0. Sublime finish again. Harrit. Here's Paulinho. Paulinho, there's a ball on the inside and he's found Supriyaha. Who's through on goal again. Oh, it's a good save this time from Galashi. The resulting corner. Whipped in by Jordan Shakiri To come back across the goal. Just wide of the far post. The ball launched forward from this free kick from Leipzig. 
Knocked down, but only for James Ward-Prowse to find Omar Mascaral. Is there another counter on Furlong? Plays the ball into Mascaral, who's in again. Another chance through on the goal. Square ball. Supriha has the hat-trick. Three in the back of the net for the Ukrainian. And it is another rapid counter-attack, this time led by Omar Mascaral, who does the smart thing and goes for the Supriha tap-in. Danny Olmo. Leipzig still trying, but Mascaral will win the ball back. Now here is Castrati, who will get away from anyone on that pitch. And he's away from Poulsen. Castrati now puts the ball in. Here's Supriha. Supriha is a good save by Galashi with his feet. Akanji, got to keep the pressure on them still. Shakiri wins it back. Three for Supriha. Who's getting another shot away and he's got another goal. It is rare. <laughs> I can't even speak. It is Red Bull Leipzig nil. Schalke 4 5. Incredible stuff from Vladislav. Five Bundesliga goals for him already this season. Four on this day. Five star second half performance. We get a clean sheet. Five goals. Four of Ladislav and three big Bundesliga points. What a player this man is. What a signing. The ratings are going to look pretty nice this time. I can assure you of that. Brilliant performances from Ward Prowse. Castrati. Supriha with a 10. Renal, how does he not get... In, like in the eights at least pulled off some sublime saves did Ronel now it's time for our first Champions League game against Milan that Leipzig game is knackered so I've had to do heavy changes Ronel, Paulinho, Sane, Kavak, Chow Mascaral, Maiga, Harakatic Harit, Kastrati and Mitrovic is the side here's Shanaloglu and it's a great ball through he's in behind here for Milan and Sane with an exquisite tackle wow perfection from the big man Renal takes the goal kick to it. Salif Sane to Ozan Kavak. Massive Champions League night, our first for Schalke. Here is Amin Harit. We have a week inside today, unfortunately. We're going to have to plan a bit better ahead. Hopefully, we won't have any more big. As uh, there, <laughs> Mascaral takes a strike on, and we get a free kick for the handball. Say so we uh, definitely need to try and plan ahead, and hopefully, don't have big games just before Champions League ones in the future as Ivan Rakitic steps up for this free kick and it's palmed behind by Donnarumma Laxalt skipping inside here is Canales brilliant skill from Canales running down the byline someone go to him someone go to him oh my word and in that moment I could not change to the right man it wouldn't let me be the man ahead of him to run and try to force the tackle. But Canales, at the end, makes it very, very easy. He just runs down the byline and puts it through the legs of Renal. It's 1-0 to AC Milan. Shanaloglu, tackled strongly by Xiao, doing a good job at right back today under difficult circumstances. Mitrovic plays a great ball in for Omar Mascarell. Mascaral with a brilliant chip. Castrati follows in just in case. But on the brink of half time. Mascaral the captain back in the side. With a brilliant goal. To add to his assist against Leipzig. Mitrovic great vision. But look at the way he stops here. Thinks he's pulled away from him just so he can pull back and get the chip. Exquisite play. Benaka. Ibrahimovic. Wide to Canales. Ibrahimovic over to Laxalt, lifts it in towards Kesai, who's headed it wide from a great chance. Arakatic. Oh, it's really poor, and Canales has the ball. Shalaloglu back to Kesai. Ibrahimovic now, and Benekar is through here. Maiga can't catch him. Sani's not going to get over. Renal rushed out, and the chip over Renal makes it 2-1 now to AC Milan disappointing definitely but what else could we really expect when we give the ball away so poorly like that from Ivan Rakitic of all people 
Ibrahimovic. Sane does well and Moiga collects the loose ball. Rakitic into the feet of Mitrovic who can turn. Takes the shot on. It's a pretty easy catch for Donnarumma though. Launch forward towards Ibrahimovic but Sane does just about enough. Here's Chow. Rakitic. Moiga now. Rakitic again. Bit of patient play. Mascaral though. Finds Castrati. Pops it up. Maiga with the header and it's 2-2 two -two with the San Siro. So what do you want to see? Maiga getting himself forward. Getting into that back post. Practically a free header. And Castrati delivering a picture perfect cross. For Maiga to head it into that near post. Perhaps Donnarumma should do better though. 2-2. Two -two. Matondo. Paulinho. He's got great pace. Delivers the ball across. It's going to fall here for Mascaral. Mascaral onto his left foot and it's a good save from Donnarumma. Ibrahimovic over the free kick. Strange to not have him in there. And that showed as we headed it away pretty easy thanks to Schell. But Warbrowse gives it away. Here's Kasai. Into Canales who can turn. Phenomenal tackle again from Sane. His last ditch tackling. His top draw. Sai Kalasinac down the line for Castrati. A few minutes remain inside Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse forced a bit wide. Returns the ball to Castrati. Here's Mitrovic. Oh, he just can't poke it. He slipped a little as he tried to take the shot on there, I think. And the full time whistle's about to go here with Canales on the ball for Milan. But a point away in Milan is a point gained in this group, definitely. We're aiming for that second spot with Real Madrid bearing down on us and Lokomotiv Moscow in there too. Some good ratings in there for Mascarell and Maiga. Now we play Cologne, it's Ronel, Kalasnach, Nastasic, Chow, Furlong, Warprouse, Mascarell, Matondo, Bujolev, Shakiri, and Supriaha. Malik Chow has definitely earned his spot in the team after that phenomenal performance away in Milan. Supriaha quickly into the path of Bujolev. Bujolev into the back of the net, just like that. Out of absolutely nowhere. It's 1-0 to Schalke out of nothing. Supriya Har just gathers the ball, sees Bujolev in acres of space. They've dragged out for some reason the defence. And it's a pretty easy finish in the end. Horn. Well done, Furlong. Will Prowse into Shakiri. Furlong here can hit an early cross. Brilliant take from Supriya Ha. Hits it on the half volley. Good save, though. And it's going to be cleared away here. Furlong, though, will regain it just about. No, it's going to be a handball. We've got a free kick here. Will Prowse goes short, actually, to Chow. There's the strike potentially from Bujolev, but it's cut out again. Good challenge from Will Prowse. Into Supriya Ha over here. But Matondo, <laughs> it's a good save from Horn. He's not happy with his defence. Rodriguez into Anderson. Nastasic stepping out. Does really well. And now a chance for Matondo. The Welshman. To glide forward with his pace. Look at this. Matondo. Can he find the right pass? Into Supriya Ha. It's in the net. Brilliant way to burst. On the counter. And Supriya Ha gets another goal. This lad is on fire at the moment. Disappointed he was too knackered to play in the Champions League. But he's forming the Bundesliga is unparalleled. Rodriguez. Into James Ward-Prowse with the interception. Matondo gets cut out unfortunately there. Here's Schaub. Schaub. It does really well. Might get crowded out though. There's Furlong to take it from him. Supriaha Bujolet. The ball back into Supriya Ha, who can burst away from the defence. Goes for goal, and it's pretty poor from him. Saved, actually, by the goalkeeper, surprisingly. Thought he just missed. Shakiri with the corner. Comes for Bujolev. Kalasinac. Hits it on the volley. It's blocked by a hand. It will be a penalty on the final seconds. Should be half-time, but it's a very silly handball, isn't it? 
James Ward Prowse for a chance for his very first goal in the blue of Schalke. Scores. Keep it rooted to the spot. Curls away from him. Lovely. Into that top corner. James Ward Prowse off the mark in Germany. Talented footballer James Ward Prowse. A lot of fantastic attributes. And his dead ball specialty is the main one for me. Schall. Cologne trying to hit back. Cozielo. The ball through here for Anderson. But Renal makes a very dramatic save. Rodriguez. The ball well wide and just brings it down there. Pressure on him by Kalasinac. Who does just enough. Takes the ball from him. And now here is Matondo. Charging away. Look at the pace of the lad. Matondo. Squares it to Supriyaha. Who puts it in the bottom corner. It is four. Another example of us being incredible on the counter. Matondo this time into Supriyaha again. And it's four. Furlong with the big switch for Sae Kilazinac to chest down. Supriyaha into Matondo. Matondo now has options. He goes alone. It's through the hands of the keeper. Matondo has his first Bundesliga goal in my management and he's made it five here keeper should probably do better but it's in the net the stars itch robbing so far up the pitch and here is Mitrovic now squares it for Bujaleb Bujaleb oh should do better Paulinho back to the stars itch swiftly into Ward Prowse Will look wide right for Castrati. Beats the defender. Little flick for Furlong. Furlong delivers it to Paulinho. Who's off the mark as well. The left back. Right back to left back. The full backs celebrate together. Filthy from Castrati. Perfect from Furlong. And a great near post header from Paulinho too. It is 6-0 now. And that is your full time whistle. A brilliant team performance that you just cannot knock no matter what you want to try and say about it. It was practically perfect. Quick look at the rating show. A 10 for Supriyaha. Good rating for Shakiri, Furlong, Paulinho. Another 10 for James Ward-Prowse. Matondo with an 8.9. Bujalev in there too. That is an all-round belter of a team performance. More of that, please, lads. Finally, it's Stuttgart. It's Ronal Paulinho, Nastasic, Kabak, Kalasinac. Ward Prowse, Rakitic, Mascaral, Matondo, Shakiri, Supriaha. We really forgot to sign a backup right back, didn't we? And it showed in this episode when players have been tired. Matondo, ball through for Supriaha. It's a good angle here. He's, oh, he's waited a bit too long and it's a fairly easy stop. Adam Armstrong with this deep free kick. And it's headed on just past the far post. Mangala. Oh no, that ball's on again. Stop it. He hasn't stopped it. And Stuttgart make it 1-0. Why do we do this in these silly games? We can batter people left, right and centre. And then have these just stupid moments in defence. It's so frustrating. Has Stuttgart go ahead? Armstrong. Still all Stuttgart with the chances. Cafaro. The goal scorer takes the strike on and Renal makes a good save. Shakiri with this corner toward Kabak. Oh, it's just gone wide. Mangala into Masias. Well played Mascaral, but then he loses it back to him. The ball into Armstrong. Back heel, Kalasinac has surely got to be stronger there. Kajnach takes the ball, gets a touch on the ball, and then he's just muscled out of it far too easily. And the lad whose name I don't dare to try to pronounce has two. Nastasic. Wall perhaps. Ball wide for Shakiri. It's four on four here. Shakiri. 
has Bujaleb on the inside, Bujaleb, good save with the legs of the keeper, he has to do better though Bujaleb, it's a great chance, but now Shakiri's got it back, Shakiri onto his left foot, gets the strike away, it's palmed away and away again, Kevechi, corner ball, swung in, oh Renal has to react quickly, they've won it again in the area, Bujaleb into Kastrati, here is Supriyaha, Shakiri. Kelasinac alongside him. With his right foot, puts in an absolute beauty, and Mitro's there with a power header. Down to the keeper's near post. Sai Kelasinac with his weak foot, with an absolute perfect cross. Just look at this for a right footer from Kelasinac. World class crossing. We are back in this one. Shakiri. Tries to switch it, but Mitrovic will get there eventually. Bicycle kick to Kostrati. Kostrati's in now. He tries to cut it back across, and it's cleared off the line after a deflection. Mangala. Wide for Vidra. Back inside for Mangala. That is a fantastic goal, isn't it? You can knock it all you want, but it was pretty dang perfect. Perfect play to Stuttgart. We even get the fancy spin camera as Vidra returns the ball brilliantly to Mangala to end this fixture and our hopes. James Ward Prowse launches one forward. It's a bit hopeful, wasn't it? It is full time. A weird ending to this episode that was so strong in places. Losing to Union and losing to Stuttgart. Just bizarre, isn't it? We're so bizarre with our form. We need to sort that out. But thank you all so, so much for watching this topsy-turvy episode. We start off with another Champions League game in the next episode. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.